Hello, future healthcare heroes. Welcome to our channel, where we gear up to tackle some of the most pressing challenges you'll face in your PLAB or MLA AKT exam. Today, we're zoning in on a crucial aspect of emergency medicine, paracetamol overdose. This topic isn't just pivotal for your exams, it's a lifesaver in clinical practice. Let's master the essentials of managing this common yet potentially fatal scenario. Paracetamol, also known as acetaminophen, is generally processed safely by your liver. But in an overdose, a sinister transformation occurs. A tiny fraction turns into a harmful compound called n acetyl p benzoquinonamine NAPKI. Usually, NAPKI is neutralized by glutathione. However, in an overdose, there's not enough glutathione, leading to potential liver damage or even acute liver failure. Keep in mind, individuals with pre-existing liver conditions, chronic alcohol users, or certain genetic predispositions may face heightened risks. Patients might initially experience symptoms that seem mild, nausea, vomiting, or just feeling off. However, these can escalate quickly to more severe consequences like liver failure. Remember, timing and dosage of ingestion are critical in assessing the situation accurately. Let's talk about the appropriate laboratory tests to perform. Measuring plasma paracetamol levels is vital. Using a nomogram, we can determine the need for treatment. Additional tests, including liver function, coagulation profiles, and renal function, help paint a clearer picture of the patient's condition. Management strategies. What are the management strategies you should know about? Activated charcoal. This is most effective within one hour of the overdose to reduce paracetamol absorption. Even if the patient arrives later, activated charcoal may still be beneficial up to four hours post-ingestion, depending on the circumstances. While we are discussing this topic, it is important to note that when it comes to medicine, you will have to practice more clinical questions to remember concepts. Just knowing the investigations and management for certain conditions will not cut it. You will have to know how to choose the most appropriate investigation or management according to the clinical scenario. At the end of this video, we will discuss two MCQs to help you with this. Moreover, do not forget to check out our question bank at medrevisions.com, which has been trusted by thousands of doctors from around the world over the years. For as low as $34 for three months or as low as $139 for three years, Choose the plan that suits you best and become a master in solving clinical case scenarios. It doesn't matter if you don't prepare for the PLAB or UK MLA exam. Our materials will help you immensely. All right, so moving on to the next point in management. N-acetylcysteine, NAC. The go-to antidote for paracetamol toxicity. NAC works by replenishing glutathione, aiding in the detoxification process, and preventing further damage. It's crucial to start NAC promptly, ideally within eight hours of overdose. Managing complications. Be vigilant for signs of acute liver failure, renal failure, and coagulopathy. In severe cases, a liver transplant might be necessary, guided by specific criteria such as those from King's College Hospital. King's College Hospital's criteria are when arterial pH is less than 7.3, 24 hours after ingestion, or all of the following. Prothrombin time greater than 100 seconds, creatinine more than 300, grade 3 or 4 encephalopathy. For example, take a look at this question. The correct answer here would be A, liver transplantation. Her arterial pH is 7.1, which is an indication for liver transplantation. It is also important to have psychosocial considerations. An overdose might be intentional necessitating a thorough mental health evaluation to address any underlying issues and to strategize prevention of future incidents. Take a look at this typical exam question. Option E, referring her to a psychiatric team, is the correct and most appropriate next step. Why is that the answer and not other options? So, as we know, paracetamol is usually broken down in the liver, and in high doses, it can be extremely harmful. However, alcohol changes the game. It inhibits the same liver enzymes that break down paracetamol, that is also called the P450 enzyme system, potentially reducing the risk of severe liver damage in this particular context. Now, while it might seem counterintuitive, the acute alcohol ingestion here actually plays a protective role by slowing the metabolism of paracetamol, thus lowering the immediate risk of liver failure. A liver transplant is far too premature without signs meeting specific critical criteria. Activated charcoal, while useful early on, is not that beneficial after one hour of ingestion. 
Starting N-acetylcysteine isn't necessary as her levels are below the danger threshold. And certainly, sending her home isn't safe or appropriate given the circumstances. So, referring her to a psychiatric team not only addresses the immediate overdose but also the underlying issues that led to her drastic actions. Mental health support is crucial in these cases to prevent future occurrences and ensure comprehensive care. In the exam, the examiner will present you with different styles of questions. Ensure you check out our question bank, which has helped thousands of doctors pass their exams. We offer more than 4,800 exam style questions with excellent notes. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. Feel free to drop your questions or comments below. See you in the next video.